Hello, I'm Lynn Langett, and today SQL Server 2012 launched. So um, rather than getting the SQL Server bits, I did something crazy. I wanted to up update my SQL Server data tools. So I wanted to tell you how it went. So I went to the SQL Server data tools team blog, and here's the uh, URL, and I click the download SSDT today, which took me over to the web platform installer, and then gave me the um, SSDT. Now, I was reading in, um, inside of the, the, um, the, the blog here, and I had the same experience where it got stuck on the install because I didn't remove the, the uh, previous version. Um, I just went for it, and it did like completely crash my machine. Um, so fair warning, probably you should remove um, if you have a CTP. But to its credit, I connected, reconnected to the install, and it installed properly. So let me show you what it looks like. So inside of Visual Studio, I create a new project and some of the new capabilities that's just some console app or something. And I'm going to not save any of the changes. Um, I noticed right off that the performance was a lot more snappy than the, than the final beta, which was really great because there was some performance um, slowness. Um, and inside of the SQL Server Object Explorer, um, I did get an error when I connected because I'm still using the RC0 um, uh, bits. But um, I just ignored the error and I kept on going and it worked okay. So um, let me just get this off of here. So uh, uh, it just seems like um, the capabilities that have been there for a while, like um, working with um, data in a connected fashion, still work just the same way they did before and there's a lot of videos about that. But what I wanted to show you is some stuff that the team announced on their blog around um, the integration of query tools. So um, I'm just going to say select star um, from um, code demos and then I'm going to go ahead and alias that as C and then in here I'm going to just pull up a few columns. Uh, uh, oh, I need to go into a table though actually. So let me get a table in here. Let's just go to my simple table getting ahead of myself. Simple table and S and S dot um, due date key and I, the IntelliSense seems really snappy which is great. I know the team talked to me um, when I was still an employee at Microsoft that this was going to be a goal. But what is really neat is you've got all the query um, execution plans inside of here, the complete toolbar that we have in SSMS. So um, if you, like me, uh, write a lot of your logic in T-SQL in your applications, you know, I know a lot of people just do CRUD operations in T-SQL, and, you know, I don't want to get into philosophical debate. But if you, if you do write logic into T-SQL and need to debug your queries, now you have your execution plans. And you can see you've got advanced features like we've got column store index, because this is actually a, a file table. So um, you have a complete, you know, uh, environment here, no need to go back to SSMS. Also, one of the things that was announced that I tried out and it's available is under the execution settings, you have the ability to have the client statistics. So if I rerun this query, you can see that we've got um, the statistics in here as well. So for somebody like me who works in both Visual Studio and Management Studio, but I prefer to do my coding in, um, in Visual Studio, this in in inclusion of these features that were announced on top of all the other great features in um, in uh, SSDT and the snappy performance makes it something that I would really encourage you to download and try out. And, and you might remember that um, this is a standalone, so if you don't have Visual Studio um, 2010 SP1 or greater, it's a standalone um, and it also is uh, version specific um, so you can get warned on um, any features that are not enabled for a specific um, edition or version. So if you're going to 2012 and you've got 2008, you actually, if you create an offline project, which I won't have time to show you, can set it for versions. And it'll warn you on, on the new features. So anyway, um, SSDT, uh, the final version released. Great product. Try it out and um, enjoy this new uh, query integration feature. So I'm Lynn Langett. For more about um, SQL Server 2012 and other database um, solutions, go to my blog at www.lynnlangett.com. Um,